People have different ways or different methods for visualizing data on Power BI Desktop. But because you are here with me and I'm the one teaching you right now, I'm going to recommend my method to you. And my method basically is that you already have in mind what you would like to display. So you have to decide firsthand what type of chart do you want to use for that display. So let's say that I would like to display the total sales per region as a visual on my canvas. The first thing I'm going to do is to decide on the type of chart I want to use for that. Of course, there are rules that you can follow to know what are the best types of charts you can use for displaying different kinds of data stories. And we are going to talk about that later. So for my sales by region right now, I'm going to choose to go with a bar chart. So once you have that decision made, you will come over here to the visualizations pane. And uh, when you check on the visualizations pane, you will see there are different icons representing different chart types. If you hover on any one of them, you get to see the name of that chart. The very first chart is what I want to use right now, which is a bar chart. All you have to do is to click on that chart. So once I click on this first bar chart, you are going to see the placeholder of the chart on my report canvas. From here, I can decide to drag it and place it anywhere I would like it to stay on my canvas. If I also want to do this, I may also readjust the size of the visual, you know, by clicking on any of the edges or any of the angles and dragging to readjust. So for example, I can drag from this right hand side to expand the width. I can also drag from the bottom side to expand the height. This is also something you can do after. So you can still create your chart and come back to readjust. Now, once you have what you want, the next thing is to go to your fields pane and pick the fields that you want to display. So I'm going to expand this, uh, my table from my fields pane. And since I want to display sales by region, all I have to do is look at the fields here and go and look for region and sales. Now, it doesn't matter which one I pick first. So I'm just going to pick region first since I'm seeing region first by ticking the box for region. Then I'm going to tick the box for sales. And you can see that I have my visual displayed on my report canvas. And everything has happened by default. So one thing you may just want to do is to confirm that it is using the right kind of summary that you would want to use. Since I wanted to display sales by region, I basically just wanted to show the total sales from each of the regions. And you can see from what I have on my X axis here that is doing the sum of the sales. Now, in the event where I don't want the sum of the sales, maybe I just want to show the average sales per region, for example. What I can do is to either right click on this sum of sales and pick a different kind of summary. Or I can just click on the drop down right here and I'm going to have the exact same options. So that's it. It's that simple and straightforward. So the next thing we want to see now is how do we format the visual we have created.